Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be covering ROI from March 13th of 2020. That was a day where we saw capitulation across pretty much all markets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Hex, even the S&P 500, right? The, the US stock market. So that was our March capitulation from 2020. And so I think that it's a, a viable spot. I think it's a practical spot to measure ROI from given we had this sort of sort of correlation across all markets. It's kind of like, okay, let's level the playing field. And a lot of people would argue that March 13th, 2020 was the start of the current bull market we're in. All right. And if you don't think we're in a bull market, then I, I can't help you. Right. Um, so with that said, here we have a quite surprising chart to say the least. I was expecting most of these, but Obviously, the one that just recently tore ahead of all of them was the one and only meme coin. Okay, so we'll get into all of this and more in the video. So remember, if you like this content, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's go ahead and get into the technicalities of this analysis. So like I said, this pretty much is a chart of normalized ROI from March 13th, 2020 for six coins. Now, the reason I chose these six coins is... A few reasons right they were they're either the blue chips like bitcoin and ethereum which everyone knows about number one and two cryptos or they're either these crazy overperformance coins which don't necessarily have fundamentals backing them for example dogecoin meme coin made just for fun but hey there's a culture behind it kind of like the whole wall street bets young gen z tiktok investors all that stuff it's a whole phenomenon in and of itself so again i don't whoa. I don't want to be like those channels that just pretend certain coins don't exist, okay? So we're, we're going to be fair with the data here and, and not skew the data by just not including coins. Uh, I've seen other similar charts of normalized ROI from March 13th, 2020, and they simply exclude HEX. And it's kind of silly given that it's basically, it's been the number one performer for a while, um, having that date as a reference point. And... Things changed a little bit recently, but we're going to get into that. So we're being transparent. We're including all data, even if it doesn't favor our biases. I think that's true objective quantitative analysis. Okay. So again, Doge, just, just the meme coin, no real fundamentals to it. ADA, I would call it a narrative meme as well, because they don't even have smart contracts. It's, it's just all narratives, right? And it's overperforming. That's, that's just the facts, right? It doesn't have to be the next Ethereum killer for it to just pump, right? They're two different things, okay? Utility and appreciation. Sometimes they're correlated. In a perfect world, they'd be correlated, but they're not always correlated. Uh, same with Link. Uh, an Oracle coin, again, centralized oracles, kind of defeats the purpose of, of what crypto was at that point. I don't want to get too much into that. We're just looking at ROI here, but as you can see, out of these six, Bitcoin is actually the baseline uh, least appreciation in the past 400 days or so. And that's interesting, right? Because it's the one most people know about. However, think about the fact that it's the most liquid coin. So it takes much more economic energy to move it. And that's probably a likely reason why it's, it's at only a 10x, right? So you would have only added a zero to your bank account if you had, you know, invested about uh, 400 days ago and cashed out today, you'd be up about 10x. And keep in mind, all of this data only uses uh, average daily data. So it won't be representative of Wix to the upside or the downside. So for that reason, these ROIs might be a bit less than what you're used to seeing, because usually people measure from bottoms of capitulation Wix to the very top of a blow off top bubble Wix. And I mean, with a liquid market like Bitcoin, that makes sense. But for certain other more illiquid markets, it doesn't make as much sense. But regardless, we're, we're doing daily candle data here to kind of keep it even across, across all these coins, keep it fair across all these coins. And so again, Bitcoin at a 10x, you saw Link and Ethereum pretty much head to head, right? We have these areas where, where Link and Red here outperformed Ethereum for a bit about 2x overperformance, and then over time they're they've been hugging for the past 
you know, ever since 2021 started, they've pretty much been equivalent in ROI at about at 18, 19, almost 20 X. Okay. For, for link and Ethereum head to head for the most part. Now, ADA has, was pretty much the second top performer for a while. Dip beneath link here a bit, August, September, October, uh, even November of last year. And then if you had switched your link over to ADA over here in December, you pretty much would have been back over performing uh, second top coin for a minute until over here where we had our first Doge pump of January. Good old Elon Musk tweeting about, about Doge. He's the master troll, right? But at the end of the day, he does have crazy influence, insane influence. I mean, I think he has like 50 million on Twitter. So the man can move markets. He's a great marketer, very smart. I think he knows what he's doing at the end of the day though. Um, it's, look at this chart for a minute, right? Now we'll talk about Hex for a second. It was the top performer pretty much the entire market cycle. Okay, and not by a little bit. It's one of those that if you see a track race and you see like the second, third, and fourth, and fifth guys are like kind of in a cluster and the first guy is just like a whole 200 meters ahead. What is that, right? There's something that distinguishes certain coins, certain people from the rest of the pack and they're not only leading the race by a little bit, they're fucking, they're charging and they are just insane. Um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Standard deviations away from, from the mean, which I find really interesting. They're outliers, right? Statistically speaking. So Hex is an outlier here because it's just out, overperforming everything. It's outperforming everything. Uh, it has been, and it was, for look at these huge gaps of overperformance. Nothing really even came close until recently. And that begs the question, right? Like, sure, at the end of the day, here we have Hex up almost 100x, right? 92x right now from March 1st. But, or I'm sorry, March 13th, 2020. And we have Dogecoin at about 200x almost, right? 197 here at the peak. And so, do you want your portfolio to be up 350 days out of the year? Or do you want it to be up on one weekend? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to discredit the fact that Doge has had a wild pump. Like, this is this is pretty impressive, to say the least. Okay? It's, it's at 197x. You would have 200x your money if you would bought 400 days ago and sold today. So, what's that? If you had put in $1,000, you could have cashed out with $200,000. Insane ROI. I get it. I get it. But, you could have done you know, similar things for literally all this period of time back here. And so it, it returns me to my question of, do you want your portfolio to be represented, representative of kind of just hoping someone tweets about something and having these really unexpected pumps? And I mean, I would have loved to have allocated maybe 10% in my portfolio looking back, but I'm not the type to buy these pumps. Um, because of that thread that I opened up that I was getting at just now that I'd rather have, right? Cause it's not just about ROI. I'd rather have what people call risk adjusted returns, right? Because at the end of the day, Dogecoin was underperforming all of these coins for a while. And if, for example, Elon Musk had chosen another coin to tweet about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the fact that Hex outperformed everything for this large period of time over here is not necessarily predictive, but I think it hints at the fact that it could do something similar in the future where, you know, we, we've seen Doge have these levels of accumulation, pump consolidation, pump consolidation. Like who's to say we don't just consolidate, go flat, and maybe in the next bear market, we just kind of do this whole thing all over again. And meanwhile, so you'll have these other coins just charging on at a, a steadier slope, I guess, right? So I'll keep you updated on this. Again, this is just this is data, okay? Everything I've said here is probably biased slightly. Um, you can you can kind of determine which statements I said were the most objective, which are kind of maybe biased by the fact that obviously I love Hex. I think it's amazing. And it's it overperformed everything pretty much up until four or five days ago. 
And at the end of the day, I say that a lot, right? At the end of the day, you you wonder, do you want your coin to be up on just one weekend or do you want it to be up 350 days out of the year? So ask yourself that question, all right? If you enjoy the content, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for getting me to 1,150 subscribers. You guys are fucking awesome. Let's get to 1,200. Why not? Appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.